let me go ahead and ask each one of you. Okay, first, Eliza, tell me, why do you care to bring innovation and food? And is this something that you thought you wanted to build your career when you first started? No, I had a wild ride getting here. I actually started my career at a very funny theater degree way and naturally moved myself to New York which also meant I became a bartender as a starving actress and tumbled into kitchen world. It was something that I'd always been passionate about, something that meant a lot to me growing up. Food was always kind of a love language. And so I chased it a little bit more and more as I got older and then started culinary school and spent the next decade in restaurant world, working my way up the chain of command until I could have the title of executive chef. And now I teach. So I got to marry a little bit of the two things, performance and food together. And it's really been amazing to, to transform different people's lives by getting them back in tune and in touch with their hands. I remember sitting in a meeting with a very large client and then hearing a topic come up that was kind of, you know, going back and forth. And I felt it come up out of my throat, like my opinion, and I couldn't grab it back. <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't so scary. Like maybe that was okay because what I had to say made an impact in the conversation and that was extremely exciting. So, you know, internally what ended up happening was I was invited to be part of more conversations and I was invited to, to share my voice and share my opinion. And from that I actually started doing my own research and ended up facilitating a lot of internal training at the company, which is really kind of where I felt like my shift happened to get me where I am now. And now where I am now is a mom of two kids under the age of three <laughs> as a female executive in the middle of a pandemic trying to do what I have to do. My husband's also a high level executive as well. And we're really just trying to do what we can. Innovation is a very scary place to be, to innovate something and to build something new. You're often alone. It can feel very uncomfortable and imposter syndrome can sneak up on you. So one thing that I would implore you to do, this is something that I try to do when I am facing that fear of making, maybe making the connection. Maybe I know there's someone I need to connect with, but I'm afraid because uh, for what all of the voices that come into your head. So I write down what that fear is. If it's a project that I don't feel like I'm capable of taking on. I write down what my thoughts are. I give myself all the reasons. I advocate for myself internally and then make that decision to go forward. 